Adam, welcome to Leighton Orient. Why did you think the Oars was the right fit for you? Thank you. Um, I just think it's a club going, hopefully going in the right direction. I think it is a club going in the right direction. I think obviously from from where it's been the last couple of seasons, um, the trajectory now of where it's going is really exciting. Obviously in and around the playoffs. Um, and just like a club with rich history, like a big club. So um, yeah, really excited, yeah. And you've got two promotions on your CV in the last couple of years. What does the, those experiences teach you? Yeah, you learn a lot from them experiences. You sort of look back on them and think like, what have we done in them seasons to make us successful? So hopefully, um, I can take that, take that in and bring that on, on board here. So yeah, as, as you say, back to back to promotion. So, you know, hopefully get another one um, third in a row. That's what I'm hoping for. But just, yeah, just trying to help the lads as much as possible, really. And we know you're a centre-back, but for the supporters that haven't got to see you play, how would you describe yourself as a defender? Um, I like to think I'm, I'm a leader. Um, I try and get the, get the lads going sort of thing, get like communicator. Um, and I like to get on the ball as well and play, play, play some football, but I'm not, not shy to doing the, the dirty work as well. If it's an ugly game, I don't mind having an ugly game as well. But so, yeah, that's, that's about it really. So versatile as well, probably can play different positions. So, yeah. Minutes have been hard to come by in the championship for you. So that must be something you're really keen to get some minutes into the legs and get much of it. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, I haven't played games this season, so I'm, I'm keen to get some games going. I uh, just want to get, you know, the match fitness in sort of thing as soon as possible, just so I can be as, as much as, a, as an asset to the team as possible. So I want to help the lads as much as I can, however that's going to be. And um, so, yeah, like the quicker I get, you know, playing and, and match fit, the, the better, yeah. You come here to Orient and we're just in and around those playoff positions. You mentioned the, the experiences and what they taught you. What do you think it's going to take the Oars to actually get up this season? Yeah, but being in League Two before, I've got two promotions from League Two, so it's, it's a tough, tough league. Like it's, it's no, any team can beat any team, so I think you can't, can't get complacent no matter where, you know, if you go on a run of three or four. Um, and you end up in third, it doesn't mean anything because in three or four games time you could be, you know, back in ninth, tenth, whatever. So I think the mentality, especially going into the last half of the season, is massive. Um, and keeping level headed as well, you know, if you lose a game, fine, go on to the next one, you know, learn what you could have done better. And if you win a game, don't get too high. So, um, yeah, I think it's, it's all about mentality um, and definitely work rate, yeah. It's been a strange year all around, of course, with COVID 19, and it's obviously had its effects on football. Fans haven't been in to see much football at all this year. What would your message be to the supporters? Um, just like give 100% to the club, you know, to get match fit straight away, I'll give 100%. Um, you know, whether I'm playing, whether I'm not playing, anything, um, everyone that knows me will know sort of the character I am. I like to think I'm quite honest and, and quite hard working. So I'll do everything I can to, to be successful for Leighton Orient, um, to help the lads. Um, to, to help the fans, to help the staff, to help everyone at the club. Um, and I feel a responsibility to do that. So, yeah, that's you'll be getting full commitment from me, really.